Hello and welcome back to another Infinite Flight tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to use the Auto Land feature, also known as Approach Mode or APPR. As we make our way into San Francisco International, the first step is to tune into the ILS. To do that, we'll go to our map, select the airport icon, toggle over to the runways page, and then choose our landing runway. I've chosen runway 28 right, select Set Nav 1, and you'll see it indicated in green if the ILS is within range. Next, we open our navigation tab, change the source to Nav 1, and we'll now be able to track inbound on the runway 28 right ILS. The next three rules are very important for a proper auto land approach. First, we must ensure we intercept the localizer at an angle no greater than 30 degrees. If we are landing runway 28 right, we can intercept final anywhere from a 250 to a 310 heading. This allows for a shallow angle across final with a smooth intercept. Second, ensure you're below the glide slope prior to the APPR mode establishing you on the localizer. A good tip for this is to give yourself plenty of room with a longer final and level at about 3,000 feet AGL by the time you're 15 miles out. Third, you must be at or below 200 knots to activate APPR. Now I'm on a good intercept of final with our 310 heading and leveled at 3,000 feet to give me some time to establish before the localizer comes in range, which means we're set to activate the approach mode. To do this, we open our autopilot tab, select APPR nav, and now the aircraft will maintain the intercept angle until the localizer needle works its way from the right into the center. At this point, it's all automated and the aircraft will intercept the final approach course and begin descending at the appropriate time. From here, you want to make sure that you only make small adjustments to the speed and aircraft configuration as you prepare for landing. I like to turn off the auto throttle and simply reduce my power settings slightly as I slow the aircraft, lower the flaps and gear all while keeping the aircraft stable. At the desired final approach speed, I recommend reactivating the auto throttle. If you look on the right side where your altitude is displayed, you can see the glide slope coming into range and our approach mode has now begun the final descent, fully following the localizer and glide slope guidance. It's time to sit back and relax from here. Monitor your speed, watch for traffic, and the aircraft will fully land itself and apply the brakes on the runway. However, if you're like me, you can also disengage the autopilot at your defined minimums and hand fly the final moments. That's all for today, but thank you for tuning in. For more, be sure you're subscribed to the channel or following us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. I'll see you next time.